back everyone to the late night review and uh, tonight I wanted to talk about Cyborg again with Jean-Claude Van Damme. I love the movie. I have a lot of nostalgia for it. Just a, a ton of nostalgia. And there's other movies in the same genre that I like quite a bit. You know, the futuristic sci-fi action like Mad Max and Road Warrior and Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. I like those movies a lot. Really like those movies. Um, but I like Cyborg better. And some of it is because I got nostalgia for all of them. I seen them all when I was a kid. But I have more nostalgia for Cyborg. I just I love that movie because of the martial arts, uh, the action. There's knife fighting, shooting, uh, some shooting, not much, but there's knife fighting, martial arts. A lot of carnage. It's a fast pace. It's a faster pace than any of the Mad Max movies, any of the three films. And I think it's I think it's very underrated. I actually, I, like I said, I like it better than those films. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. The acting, you know, it's it's an action movie, martial arts. The acting's okay. I thought Dale Hayden did a really good job acting, and uh, there were some pretty decent uh, performances in the movie in terms of acting. I thought that Vincent uh, Klein did a great job as Fender. I mean, what a villain. What a look. Iconic looking villain. Uh, ruthless. His voice. His charisma. What a villain. Just a great villain. Better than any of the villains that I've seen in any of the Mad Max uh, movies, in my opinion. Uh, but uh, those were some good movies, too, and had some good villains. Uh, but I think that Cyborg is a better movie. The acting, the acting's a little better than the Mad Max uh, movies to me because it wasn't. They're both. They both have kind of silly and maybe dumb moments in all the movies. But uh, Mad Max and Road Warrior and um, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome had more of that kind of silliness, even though both all all four movies have that. But I like Cyborg better because it's faster paced. I think it is more exciting to me, unless you just love the, the carnage on the road, you know, the chases, the car crashes and all that, and that kind of action. If that's your thing, you might you'll probably like. I think most people do like the, the Road Warrior and Mad Max, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, those movies uh, more than Cyborg, but I don't know. I like Cyborg better. I think it's very criminally underrated. I think it's one of the best sci-fi movies of all time. Early Jean-Claude Van Damme. And one of the reasons I have so much nostalgia for it too is after I saw Bloodsport, um, I just wanted to see everything else with Jean-Claude Van Damme. I went to the video store with my dad. I, I didn't care if Jean-Claude Van Damme was playing a good guy or a bad guy. I just wanted to see what other movies he was in. So I watched No Retreat, No Surrender, A Black Eagle, and, and loved those movies. And I still love those movies to this day. They're not for everybody. Definitely, <laughs> definitely not for everybody. But I like those movies, especially No Retreat, No Surrender. Uh, but Cyborg, when that came out, I just, I had to watch it. I loved it. It was rented for me. I couldn't, I watched it over and over and over again. I have a lot of nostalgia for the preview. I thought the preview, the trailer for this film, you can still watch it, the original trailer on YouTube. Just so much nostalgia for it. I loved it. Certain scenes, and it shows the scene where Jean-Claude Van Damme is doing the splits. He's kind of hidden in the sewers, and then the big guy walks underneath. That big guy was in Gladiator. That big guy's been in quite a few other projects, but uh, muscular guy, strong guy. But Jean-Claude Van Damme was up there. He had, was doing the splits, and then it showed the wide. You can see it from a distance, and it showed him doing the splits. And then the, the big blonde-haired guy underneath him, and Jean-Claude Van Damme was going like that with the knife. Iconic as hell. Just absolutely iconic looking. Just a very iconic look. And then he came down with the knife, and the way the trailer was with the music and everything, just set that up beautifully. The the rain, the way Jean-Claude Van Damme was fighting these guys in the rain and that trailer, the music 
and Cyborg at the end on the screen. It just, I have so much nostalgia for it, and I'll show you this here. This came roughly out, this came out roughly about the same time as Cyborg. It's called Last Battle for your Sega Genesis, and I got a Sega Genesis for Christmas, and uh, Altered Beast was your free game that you got with it, just like if you had the Nintendo Entertainment System. I know it looks backwards because I'm doing the, this is the mode of the camera, but just like with the Nintendo Entertainment System, I think you got Super Mario free, and I think it depended on the timing, you'd get the, the golden zelda cartridge they had a gray one a silver one and then a gold one i got the gold one i i'm not going to go dig it up it's around here somewhere but altered beast was your free game with the sega genesis christmas morning yes there was some snow and some ice outside i'll never forget it and this came free and then i also this was wrapped up and i unwrapped it and enjoyed last battle and this game is a futuristic game, and the way it looks, the way the martial arts are, and the way the characters look, it reminded me of Cyborg. Really reminded me of Cyborg, and that made me have even more nostalgia for both Cyborg and this game. I keep holding it up, but I'd like to show it over here, too. When I do the editing for this video, I'm probably going to do that so you can see it in its full glory, but... I have it here. I still have the instructions on the inside. And then I have my old Double Dragon instructions. It's backwards, but my old Double Dragon instructions for the original Sega. I actually had an adapter that you can hook up to your Sega Genesis and play old Sega games on it. But yeah, this this game it's it's one of my favorite games of all time and just to show you another game here um, i know i'm supposed to be talking about the movie but this movie brings all this back i watched cyborg around the same time as i got these games and it just your last battle i don't know if it you know i don't know if the uh if there's any connection between the two projects cyborg and last battle probably not but to me I have nostalgia for both, so one reminds me of the other. And Power Monger, <laughs> this game, I actually, they were selling games. They were going out of business. This, uh, I think it was called Magic Video. Magic Video was a store we used to go to when I was a kid. And this is one of the games that was for sale, and I, I asked for it when I was a kid. And it was cheap, cheap. And um, I like this game. That was one of my favorite games when I was a kid. But yeah, Last Battle reminded me of Cyborg. Got a lot of nostalgia for Cyborg and Last Battle and the opening the Sega Genesis on Christmas morning when I was just, just back in 89. I was born in 77, so just um, it's about 12 years old. And uh, I, I'll never forget that. Never forget it. And Cyborg is not only, not only do I have a lot of nostalgia for it, but it's Jean-Claude Van Damme, young Jean-Claude Van Damme. The martial arts, the flexibility, the athleticism, and yes, the martial a lot of martial arts movies are, the fighting is not very realistic. It's kind of fake. But the athleticism, the fun of it, the excitement, I'll never forget it. It's one of my very favorite movies period cyborg one of my favorite jean-claude van damme movies and one of my favorite movies period and uh also the thing is about this movie is it's one of my favorites it has flaws there are certain things in there that are a little silly but most of it is serious it's got a good pace good action it's not slow at all i like the story some of your best movies have the simplest stories. You, you don't have to be complex. You don't have to get into the weeds with your story. Look at Halloween. What a classic that was. Man, it's simple, but very, very, very good. This is a simple plot, simple movie. The, the earth is pretty much devastated by a plague. You know, kind of like Omega Man. It's devastated by a plague. People are dying of the plague. 
there's a cure. If you have the cure, it'll give you power. Power in the sense of, you know, if you have the cure, you have the key of life and death in your hands. Fender, um, Vincent Klein, who plays Fender, wants the cure. The good guys want the cure. Bad guys want the cure for obvious reasons. Simple plot. Man, it's effective. Uh, Dale Hayden plays the cyborg and Jean-Claude Van Damme throughout the movie. Here and there, he's, he, he protects her at times, but mostly he's on a quest of revenge to go after Fender for what he did to him and his loved ones. And there's a revenge aspect to this story, and that's always interesting and exciting. I like movies like that. It gives the hero a real purpose to fight rather than just fighting for um, money or for other reasons that might be self-centered. It's for a good cause, for justice, and I like that. And also, uh, Dale Hayden, she has information. She's a cyborg, so she has special information that she has to deliver to Atlanta, get the cure. And it's, it's a fun movie to me. Disturbing. Um, one of the criticisms I have about the film is I, I enjoyed the final fight with Jean-Claude Van Damme um, and Fender, uh, Vincent Klein. But, um, you know, I, they, they exchanged punches too much. You know, I'll stand there, you hit me. You stand there, I'll hit you. I don't like that. Uh, I kind of understood it in a way, but I liked the action, the fighting when it flowed more, especially the final fight sequence between him and Fender. It was quicker paced. There was some more, there was skill involved. That's one of the problems I had with Death Warrant. Him and the Sandman were just standing there exchanging punches. You hit me, I hit you. I don't like that. I don't like that in movies. It's it, no skill at all there. And it's not even fun to me. Fender was an awesome, iconic bad guy, but he deserved to be crushed. And at the end, you know, he gets... He gets kicked and then the hook goes through his chest and everything. But um, I, I didn't like where they were just standing there. And, you hit me, I hit you. No, I like it to flow. I like the action to flow more. And, um, you know, Bloodsport had more flow in that sense. Even though there were some very fake parts in that movie. I love Bloodsport. It'll always be one of my very favorite movies. I love the athleticism and Bolo Young. <laughs> That's why, that's one of the big reasons Bloodsport will always have a special place in my heart. Bolo Young. I, I, I always liked him, and that's, that's a great movie. And Double Impact, he was in there too. Uh, those are two of my very favorite Jean-Claude Van Damme movies. If I ever did a ranking, Bloodsport and Double Impact would be near the top for sure. And Cy I love Cyborg. I really like Cyborg. Good action. Uh, if you like action and martial arts, futuristic movies, I think you'll enjoy this quite a bit. And those movies often don't have very good acting. The acting in here is not bad. I actually think the acting in here is pretty good for what it is. I actually think it's less silly uh, than the Mad Max series. Um, you know, the original Mad Max uh, series uh, and with Mel Gibson, all three of those films. And I like those films a lot, but I prefer this. I enjoyed this a lot. Ton of nostalgia for it, like I said already. I like the music. I like the, the special effects for the time. I think it worked. I think it was pretty good for those days, actually. Uh, this is before CGI. It was, came out in 1989, I believe. And then this video game, it says here, uh, 19, made in Japan, 1989. And then it says Sega of America Incorporated. So yeah, they, it came out around the same time. And Cyborg, if you haven't seen it, you're in for a treat. And uh, I think you'll like it. If you like Jean-Claude Van Damme, you should like it. If you like sci-fi movies, martial arts, futuristic action, I think you'll enjoy this film. If you haven't seen it, I envy you. You're in for a treat. I think you should check it out. And this has been the Late Night Review. And by the way, before, before I go, if you're wondering about the style of my show here, the Late Night Review, I'm making it, in, and I should have said this at the beginning of the video, but I, um, I make my videos in such a way that I would like to see it if it was on, and it is on YouTube, but 
if I was on the outside looking in and I was looking for something to watch, I'm trying to make my videos the types of videos that I would click on and want to watch all the way through. So that's kind of why I do it this way. The style is what I prefer. It's my taste and I would watch it if I was not me and I was looking for something to watch. And then also, if you're wondering about the graphics that I use, like up here and to the side and on the bottom, if you're wondering about the graphics that I use, on top, often I'll use uh, scenes from my very favorite 1980s song, Dance Hall Days by Wang Chung. It's, it's my favorite video. Uh, I mean, Land of Confusion is awesome with Phil Collins. I love Phil Collins' Genesis. I have... Even though this is my favorite 80s song of all time, Dance Hall Days by Wang Chung, there's close seconds and thirds that are right up there. I mean, gosh, there's so many. Simple Minds had great music. Uh, Phil Collins, obviously. And I can go on and on talking about music all night. But scenes from Dance Hall Days, I love that video. The music, is it's my favorite from the 80s. Um, probably my second favorite song to that would be it's close. Sometimes it's tied, but uh, everybody wants to rule the world by tears for fears. I mean, owner of a lonely heart by yes. And then uh, I love Were the Kids in America by Kim Wilde. There's so many songs that I could choose to be number two or close to this number one. But yeah, with the Dance Hall Days by Wang Chung, you know, the way they did the music, the black and white at the beginning, the silver um, colors, the black, the silver, the ceiling, sh chandeliers, the way the camera pans across the table and they're clapping with the, with the, um, drinks on the table. And then the two twins, the women in there, and then the, you know, the guys clapping and they had that silver effect. And then the character comes out of that silver ball kind of reminds me of Terminator <laughs> with the silver and everything. I love it. I, that's my favorite eighties song. So just in case you were wondering about that, so anyway, I was supposed to be talking about Cyborg, but man, it brings me back. It was at the tail end of the 80s, so. But uh, this has been the Late Night Review. Uh, please like and subscribe and share this video. Hit the thumbs up button and have a good night, everybody. Take care.